Hey YouTube, it's Ashley, back again with the rest of the thrift haul that I was just filming. And these are the items from Savers that I had spoken about in my last haul. And actually I forgot one of the items from the um, flea market. So um, I was showing you the items that I had dug around uh, in a big pile on the table at a flea market for. If you haven't, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can watch my last haul video, I will link it below, and you will know what I'm talking about, and you won't um, just be completely lost right now. Um, and that item is this pin right here, which is just two people dancing with each other. So that was part of the $5 that I spent at that last stop at the Seekonk Flea Market. So, um, I'll show you the stuff that I got at Savers. This was the Savers in Plymouth? Yes, this was the Savers in Plymouth. And then I have two other Savers hauls for you, so hopefully I can fit everything into one video. Um, my battery isn't doing great right now, so hopefully I can get it all done before my battery dies and without this video getting too long. So I'm gonna show you the non-clothing items first from this trip to Savers. Um, the first one is a Hello Kitty item that I got for $2.99. Hopefully you can see the price tag from there. And my boyfriend said this was a Nintendo DS case. I'm not sure because I couldn't really tell from in the package, but it's just a case that zips open in the back, zips open in the front, and has a little pocket, and it's got Hello Kitty on it. But I just thought this was something cute that I could stick inside my backpack or even inside my purse um, to keep some stuff in. There's some stuff inside my purse that just kind of floats around. And today, for example, I had a really nice Tarte uh, lip, lip surgeon. I think that's what it's called. Um, one of those lip like crayon things and the cap came off and it's all over the inside of my purse. Not to mention that thing is not cheap and I just lost a bunch of lip color. So if it was in something nice like this, the cap wouldn't have come off and it didn't fit inside my, my little makeup bag that's in my purse because I've got too many other things shoved in there. So maybe I'll put some of the bigger stuff in something like this. I don't know. It was probably intended for something like a Nintendo DS originally. But I plan to repurpose it for something that I do have. So that was actually half off because I went on a half off day. So I paid $1.50 for that cute little Hello Kitty thing. Um, I also got some yarn for $1.99. This is uh, Fun Fur yarn. And it's these really pretty fall colors. Purple, orange, uh, red, yellow. So I will either make a scarf with that or something else, but uh, I will definitely do something with it. It was definitely worth uh, the dollar that I, no, dollar fifty that I paid for it. It was worth the two dollars. I would have bought it even if it wasn't half off. But another pair of vintage sunglasses. Um, these ones are a little different. They're more like an aviator style, but they are still tortoise shell. These were not priced, and to be honest, I don't know what they charged for them. Most of the sunglasses are $1.99 or $2.99, so I probably paid $2 or $3 for these. I will have to check my receipt, and if I find that out before I post this video, which I imagine I would, I will put it in the description below. I found these awesome vintage shoes, which reminded me of the saddle shoes that I used to wear when I was younger. And for the brief period of time where I uh, went to dance class, these were $5.99. I did not expect these to fit me because they were marked seven, seven and a half, and they are vintage shoes, which are normally far too narrow for my feet when they are um, the modern size that I wear. But these fit me almost perfect. So they, they're not too tight on my toes. They're not too narrow. So um, these might have just been marked the wrong size, but they fit very well so I will be wearing those and then I, I got a couple basics um, this one is just a tank top from the Gap and it's this nice neutral tan color but it's got this metallic sheen to it like a gold metallic sheen so I thought that was really pretty and then I got two t-shirts 
Uh, one of them is this cute Black Eyed Peas t-shirt. This is the second Black Eyed Peas t-shirt that I've picked up at Savers. And I can't believe I just forgot to tell you how much that tank top was from The Gap. You might have seen the price tag. It was $3.99, so I paid $2 for it. This Black Eyed Peas t-shirt was $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for it. And I picked up this American Eagle super, super soft t-shirt with just a cute little pattern on it. This one was $4.99, so I paid $2.50 for it. Um, I picked up this really cute maxi dress. I might um, test my editing skills and try to insert a picture of me wearing this in the dressing room. Um, it just looks like this. It's like a tube top, but then it has a halter strap that you can tie around your neck. And super, super long all the way to the ground, but it's just cotton. That one was $9.99, so I paid $5 for it. Probably wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't on sale at $9.99. Same goes for this. Um, even though this dress is gorgeous, I don't think I would have spent $12.99 for it. It's J. Crew. It's that beautiful eyelet style that I am such a huge fan of. In this uh, great, like, it's not quite orange, uh, but not quite salmon either. It's more orange than salmon, but not quite salmon. Um, and it was $12.99, so I paid $7.50 for it. Is that right? And in the back, it's kind of a strange cut. It's not, I mean, it's kind of like a really big keyhole. I don't know, I like it. And then it's got this tie at the top. So, toss that in the wash. And then the last thing I bought was this giant guest tote bag. And the reason I bought this was I have so many plastic bags. And probably 80% of them are from if not more, are from Salvation Army and Savers. I don't want any more plastic bags from Salvation Army and Savers. So I want to start carrying something like this. I had them put all of my items into this bag just to put my stuff in because it's terrible the amount of plastic that I am using. I try to find new purposes for it. I stuff my boots with plastic bags to keep their shape. I obviously donate my stuff in plastic bags, but uh, it's just, I have them all over my room. So I need to do something with these plastic bags. Um, I'm sure there's somewhere I can recycle them. I need to bring just a huge amount of them to recycle them because they're taking up a, an exorbitant amount of space in my room right now. Uh, but this was $4.99, so I paid $2.50 for it. I just need to toss it in the wash because it's a little grungy. So I'll do that after this video. And we've made it to the second trip, and I'm not doing too bad on time. The other two trips to Savers aren't that big. The second, uh, or the last one rather, is just mostly books. So let me get into this second trip. Just trying to reach everything. Okay. So second trip, I got one book. It's called Sketches from a Life by George F. Keenan. And this is just basically his diary or journal, whatever you want to call it. So I took a quick um, glance through it. It looks really interesting. Um, it's from the time frame of World War II, I believe. Yes, in Berlin and Hamburg. So um, it just outlines his whole life. And it just looked like a really interesting read. So I picked this up. I'm sure it was $2.99 based on the price of the book, but a great deal. Um, I'm sure that will be a really great read. These boots, I wanted immediately when I saw them. The heel is very interesting. It's just a different shape. The boot itself is a different shape. It's got the little tassel on the zipper pull. They were from a brand that I'd never heard of called Sea Label. I looked them up online. They look like they're, you know, 60 to 80 dollar boots which is a pretty decent price um i saw some of them selling on ebay these are literally brand new there is no wear at all on the bottoms i mean these these are perfectly clean so uh, a pair of brand new boots that were probably you know 60 to 80 dollars they were mark 20 from savers hopefully you can see that maybe not so I got them for 10. So that's pretty awesome. They are faux leather. They're not real leather, which is fine with me. 
And then these I saw, and I was pretty excited about. These are little Juicy Couture sneakers, which are just metallic gold, and they're cut out. Um, these actually remind me a lot of my Jeffrey Campbell Litas, the Daisy Litas. And these were only $6.99. I'm not sure if you can see that tag in there. It's, there's a lot of shadowing going on. But uh, so I paid $3.50 for these. I mean, you, you really can't beat that. So I'll definitely get some use out of those. And I found something else from Juicy, too, that was reasonably priced. I found this adorable little bag, which is in pretty good condition. The inside is completely clean. And I just thought this would be cute for just a little um, don't feel like carrying around a big bag bag. And my battery is dying. That's not good. Um, this was $7.99, so I paid $4 for it. Um, also in the accessories, I found a scarf from this brand I had never heard of. The print on this caught my eye. The skull print. And this is from a brand called Pharmacy Industry, which I looked up on eBay. I couldn't find a lot of items from them. Um, it looks like they're an international brand um, from the UK or something like that. This was only $5.99, brand new with the tag, so I paid $3 for this scarf. So I'm excited to wear that. And the last couple items, I picked up this brand new silk skirt from Lord & Taylor. Um, no, this one was not brand new, but great condition. This um, silk skirt from Lord & Taylor, 100% silk. Um, it was $4.99, so I paid $2.50 for it. Just a little A-line skirt. Two little lingerie items. I picked up this cute bralette. This one uh, is $2.99. I paid $1.50 for it. And this little white one. This one is $3.99. So I paid $2 for it. And then the last item, I'm just going to cut it off here since my battery is dying, were these like Palazzo style possibly workout pants. Super stretchy. I didn't have a chance to try these on because the fitting room line was ridiculous. These are $5.99, so I paid $3 for them. That's it for our second trip to Savers. Third trip, I'm going to have to squish into another haul. Um, I don't have anything to add it right now, but um, I'll definitely, I'm sure, be thrifting again soon. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll have to end it here so I'm not getting cut off by my battery dying. Definitely leave me some feedback, and I will be back again soon with another haul video. Thanks, and have a great night.